This is the drive home with Zach, Alfie, and TT for the Mule Drive Home, driving home from the Kean Prince or Kyan Prince Stadium, also known as Lofters Road, where it finished. QPR one, Millwall one. How many, Alf? One. I want you to do that together. All right, let's do a bit two together. Don't worry, we'll work on it throughout the season, Alf. All right, we're going to get this. Um, how good is it to be back, boys? How good was oh, it to be back? Oh, amazing. Um, it was good. One of the best atmospheres, certainly for the first 20 minutes. Absolutely amazing. You know, the first league game to watch it and to experience it, it was just unbelievable. Even uh, the police couldn't spoil it at the end, you know, knocking people over and sending us all over, saying a few things about uh, my uh, how much hair I've got, um, which wasn't uh, particularly nice. Boys, it weren't very nice, was it? No. Um, and no trouble from the Mill fans, so it was a bit disappointing to be uh, policed the way we were. But no one likes us, and uh, we don't care. So that's we, you just got to get used to it. If you don't mind, stick a like on the video, subscribe. Thank you very much for the people that did subscribe. Like I say, 50% of you that watch this don't. Um, you're not subscribed. We're trying to get to 2,000, and it'd be really great if we could get there. And obviously, put your comments below. We started with. Probably nearly our strongest lineup, I would say, other than the fact that Cooper came out um, with a slight back injury and Murray Wallace took his position. We had Bartosz in goal, a back three of Daniel Ballard, Murray Wallace and Sean Hutchinson. Right wing back was Danny McNamara, left wing back was Scott Malone. We had a midfield three, but George Savile played in advance of the back two of George Evans and uh, Mikel Keftenbeld. And then we had two up front in Jed Wallace and Benik Afobe. It was energy, energy, energy from the Lions in the first um, first 10 minutes. And, and let's make no doubt about it, QPR are going to be a very strong team in the Championship. A lot of people tipping them for at least the playoffs. And they have got some very good players. You know, Stefan Johansson, Barbe, two real standout players for them today. Even though Johansson had to come off injured, I think he was injured. But like I said, it was energy from the Lions. We attacked so much. We, we just had everything in the game for we just obviously the fans being there the players were well up for it and what i really liked is that we not only did we put pressure on but we also closed down as a team and that and that made so much of a difference we created a chance in the first minute the ball's played out wide wide left scott malone does cross the ball into the box but it hits the uh hits the bar and goes over looped it um looped over we create a chance, and uh, again, Benica Five has a shot that was uh, tamely saved. Well, it's a tamely shot, um, well saved by, by the goalkeeper. And then the, the one player in the team that just has the absolute magical touch that he does have. And um, Jed Wallace gets the ball, it's coming from the left, he gets the ball, takes the touch, lets it come across him, and then he just bangs it with the top, into the top right hand corner with his. Uh, with his Left foot, wasn't it? Yeah, it was yeah. left foot. Absolute stunning. I got a little tip to it, but it wasn't enough. Absolute stunning goal by Jed Wallace. And, and he ran the full length of the pitch. And you know, things can't get taken away from you from football. And, and we're so glad to be back. And to see him running towards us, you know, we're in the upper tier right at the front and just going absolutely mental. And he was going mental, cupping his ears. And that is exactly what football is about. You know, just going crazy. Boys, you were enjoying it, weren't you? Oh, yeah. Defo. That was one of my favourite celebrations I've ever seen. And uh, it was just brilliant to take the lead and deservedly so at, the, at that time. For the next 10 minutes, I think we, we still stayed on top. Ballard got a booking, a, a, a really cheap booking to be fair. And, and we'll do ref watch now because Oliver Lankford was an absolute joke of a ref today. Really, really poor. Every 50-50 challenge, every... Everything that could go against us went against us. And it was it, it really frustrates me sometimes that it just... I, I, I do complain about refs a lot of the time. And I know I'm biased, but today he really did take the biscuit. Dan, even, not only the ref, the linesman down in front of us. Um, Danny McNamara's pushed in the back. He falls on the ball. And the ref gives... Um, no, it was... Len was uh, it was... Was it Leonard? Malone, I think. No, it was, and he's down the right. So it must have, I think it was McNamara. So he's pushed, he lands on the ball, and he gives a foul the other way for a handball, and you're thinking it was a blatant push in the back. Four mill players, I think, were booked. Um, two of them probably definitely were bookings, but you just... It, it's so frustrating to have that in, in a game, and we were literally playing 12 men today. 
So Ballard was booked for, for a tackle from behind. Um, and then again, we have a ch another chance, a great through ball from Scott Malone. Like I said, that we create a lot of chances in the first half. Um, what is that idiot doing? It's no good saying sorry, Bella. Just watch where you're going. Um, yeah, a through ball from Malone over the top. George Savile's on his own. He's got he's, he's in acres of space running through. We've, we've actually got a two on one, and he, he kind of miscontrols. He doesn't play in front of him, and and the chance goes because he kind of scuffs it around, and, and it's really disappointing because you know when you look back on that, they're the chances that you've got to take, um, and literally from that. We get opened up a little bit, far too much, giving them far too much time in the middle. He's a West Ham shirt in West London. Never mind. Uh, far too much space. And he runs in from, you know, I think it was, um, what was his name, Zach? I just said it. Dick, Dickie. <laughs> runs, 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 runs from the back into the middle. We back off of him. We're giving him far, far, far too much space. But to be fair to the lad, he absolutely oh, bangs yeah. it. It in, was such a good strike. Bangs it into the bottom left-hand corner. You've got to be disappointed as a goalkeeper if you're being con uh, if you're conceding from that distance. But ultimately, it was a fantastic shot and well finished. Jed's and was better still, though. It was, yeah. Je yeah, Jed's was a bit. Well, well, that's because we're biased. Uh, but Jed's was a fantastic goal as well. Uh, QPR then on the ascendancy actually finished the first half uh, better. They, they created another chance at uh, Charlie Austin goal who, who got a little bit of grief from Mill fans with, with, with don't forget the uh, player final um, when he played for Swindon and missed that absolute sitter thanks to, to the Wembley pitch. But he had a good shot, well saved by Bart, pushed it wide. And then a, an absolutely fantastic goal line block by Sean Hutchinson who was excellent today. All three of our centre-backs, Danny Ballard, um, uh, Danny Ballard, Sean Hutchinson and um, Murray Wallace, Murray -Wallace were, were really good at, as a back three. And, and, and as we went into the second half, they they just didn't look troubled really at all. One pop shot again from, from Austin in the second half. I was quite happy with our first half performance. There's going to be a lot of talk about it. it wasn't we didn't create too many chances, and but neither did QPR. And they've got a, an abundance of attacking talent. It was two teams that just nullified each other and, and, and we did enough to... To, to, to come away with the point. The second, like I said, in the second half, only other than the, the, a, a Charlie Austin shot, there was another goal line block. I think it was from Hutchinson. When We weren't sure though, was we? No, uh, we wasn't. We weren't sure. But you did miss something in the, um, in first, the first half. First half, that was very brave. Yeah. Danny McNamara was on the floor. Oh, yeah. And he's went and headed it. Yeah. On the floor, while the ball was on, on the floor, could have got studded so easily, but he's went in for it. I, I and think, he's I, think it. I think it kind of reminded if you if you what if you've watched football for a while. So John Terry done it on the floor, diving with his head, and um, I think uh, Phil Jones was another player. Well, Danny McNamara put his head on the line today, and um, it was it was good to see from a meal point of view, and just showed the passion. That was that happened really early on, but it really was good to see. Uh, and like I said, second half, both teams created very, very little. We, we made a couple of substitutions. Matt Smith coming on, Billy Mitchell came on, and Ryan Leonard came on. All, all added something different. I was a little bit disappointed. The ball was up to Smith. Smith won a few headers, but it kept going in behind our players that were running onto it. It just, just didn't quite work. I was also really impressed with uh, Benneke Fobe. He looks like a game player. You know, he's looked good in the friendlies, but he really did look the part today I felt that you know he really did put himself about he you know he, he stuck up for uh, one of our players when it went well he stuck up for Jed when Jed's shirt was pulled and after the thing obviously the QPR player didn't get spoken to Jed did but that's that's Millwall for you and then like I said the second half boys who was your man of the match um Jed Wallace who's yours um Alf uh, Jed Wallace why 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 Zach why Jed why just the passion the passion, the stunner, everything that Jed brings to the team is is everything that you need in a player. And I said to Dad quite early on in the game, I said, if we ever go up to the Premier League, Jed would be one that one of the top players in the Premier League, just how of how much he works. Yeah, he might be a bit biased there. He does watch a lot of Premier League football, so I'll give him that. But um, you. On top of that, my, to be fair, my man of the match was Kefton Belted. I thought he was absolutely superb in the, in the midfield. 
really done everything, absolutely everything. And um, oh, it looks like there's a load of police coming after me now. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it was absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Uh, very much broke up everything in the midfield, put his, again, put his body on the line. And that's exactly what you want to see from a Millwall team. It was um, a dogged performance in the second half, but enough to be able to, to, to get the point. And then we go again on Tuesday night against Portsmouth. Boys, have you got anything to add? Um, we played all right. And... Is that it? The, pl the police coming out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the police it, at the end. It, uh, it was debatable. Yeah, not, not great from the police at the end. But we enjoyed it. It's, gr it's great to be back. Thank you very much for watching. Only one way we can finish it, and that is no one likes us. We don't care.